Hello, this is Stephen Becky Thomas. We are going to talk to you about some winter money saving tips, especially because it already snowed in October, which is great. So here we go. We have 10 tips for you today. Number one, turn down the heat. In other words, use a pro programmable thermostat. Um, you can find these at your local hardware store. It allows you to turn off the heat while you're gone during the day and at night when you're sleeping. Number two, place warm blankets around your house. So maybe on your couch, have some extra blankets, different places so that you don't have to turn your heat up too high. Number three, set ceiling fans to run clockwise. So that will actually pull the heat um, down from the ceiling because heat rises and disperse it into your room better. Number four, keep your blinds closed. Unless you have a room that has direct sunlight coming into it, you should have your blinds closed, which will also help keep the heat in your house. Number five, replace your furnace filters. A great furnace has to run efficiently, and if your filter is all full of dust and grime and whatever, it's not going to run very good, so the fan has to keep going. So if you replace your filter, you'll also save money there. Number six, close off any unused rooms. I know we have a kid at college right now, which means there's one room in our house that is not being utilized, so we are gonna shut that door. And the next um, few are gonna be brought to you by Steve. <laughs> Hello, my turn. Um, okay, the next thing is use any energy efficient LED lights. If you have any like older incandescent lights or even some of the, um, other high energy bulbs, the new LED bulbs are so much more energy efficient. So those are good. Um, uh, also holiday, LED holidays. I went backwards there. I read that one, then that one. Okay, so holiday <laughs> lights, Christmas lights, when you put them on the house, obviously the older ones are, are less efficient. So the new ones can run all winter long with no problem. Um, um, oh yeah, add air in the tire of your cars, because um, what happens is the cold air hits the, the air inside your tires and they actually kind of deflate a little bit. You might be running on tires that are underinflated, uh, which would increase your gas, um, um, the inefficiency in your fuel. Um, and then cook meals at home. We're getting close to, obviously, Thanksgiving, coming into Christmas. We're getting a lot of home cooked meals, but that's something that you can do all the time. Continue to cook at home. Go to the grocery store and find deals on good um, good meals that you can make at home. Yeah, it looks like the maybe the heat actually helps too in the oven. Just kind of keeps your kitchen warm sometimes, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, never thought of that. But <laughs> good idea. Yes. Doesn't, uh, don't do LED... not heat your house with your stove. Yes, no, do not, not do idea. that though. What about um, LED lights? Aren't they expensive though for your home? Well, at first, you know, they're a little bit more pricey and then originally when the LED lights came out, yeah, they were very expensive, but LED lights now are so common that the price for LED string lights or LED lights in your home have come down considerably. So the energy savings you get out of LED lights is, is much better than um, the old incandescent bulbs. Nice. All right. Well, that's it. Again. Turn down heat, place warm blankets around, set ceiling fans to run clockwise, keep blinds closed, replace furnace filter, close off unused rooms, <laughs> use energy efficient LED holiday lights, install LED lights in your home, add air in your car tires, and cook meals at home.